Hi, we're here at the beautiful and historic Warner Grand Theater where the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy is celebrating its 25th anniversary as well as 105th anniversary of Yosemite Valley by showing the documentary Yosemite by Ken Burns. Today we just screened the movie Yosemite, A Gathering of Spirit, which was arranged as a celebration for the 150th anniversary of Yosemite National Park. And um, we're culminating our 25th anniversary for the Land Conservancy. So we thought by combining the two um, entities into one big celebration and having it in the historic theater would be a really fun way to go. Well, we're here in the beautiful Warner Grand Theater to watch the very first film presented by the Land Conservancy with a variety of community partners, including the Grand Vision Foundation that operates the theater here. And this is an opportunity for the Land Conservancy to spread its message to a new audience. We've in the past used a variety of strategies. We have monthly nature walks, uh, we, we have lectures once in a while, and we do programs in, in schools in the community. And we're always looking for new ways to reach new audiences and alert them to our message and our priorities. We feel that people need access to open space and that people really enjoy it when they have an opportunity to take advantage of open spaces and wildlife. And in addition to just preserving open space, we also invest considerable resources, our time, into habitat restoration. Well, I personally am a huge classic movie fan. So to me, like the Warner Grand is just, it's one of those movie palaces that is so beautiful and so important to preserve. So I love the parallels between the preservation of this unique piece of architecture and the preservation of our natural uh, environment. So I think it's perfect and I, I'm so happy to be here. Well, you know, the, the Palos Verdes Land Conservancy is so um, important and they have the same vision uh, that we saw when we just saw this documentary, this film, about the, the people who saw the vision of preserving Yosemite for the whole public, not just for the wealthy. And the Palos Verdes Land Conservancy, with their preservation of White Point Nature Preserve, is a great example of really preserving 102 acres of open space for everyone to uh, enjoy, for school children, uh, for people taking walks. It, it's just amazing that we have 102 acres of open space in Los Angeles. That just doesn't happen. And it was their vision uh, and their hard work that made that happen. You know, we're very proud as a city to um, have the preserve in Rancho Palos Verdes. We, we welcome the guests. Um, we have very dedicated staff that work very, very hard in conjunction with uh, the Conservancy staff to make the preserve what it is and improve it and protect it going forward, hopefully into perpetuity long into the future. So. I thought the film was outstanding. I really enjoyed uh, the, the intro and my understanding that's a five minute snippet of a much longer uh, piece that's been put together through RPV TV and Mark uh, Dotty uh, uh, with many, many people that were responsible for the creation of the Conservancy and what we have going on now. But the actual film itself, I had four very young girls with me. Uh, I found the film very, very interesting, as did the girls. And uh, I knew uh, Theodore Roosevelt was one of our finer cons conservation presidents, but uh, I didn't know to what extent he had gotten involved. So I found it very, very uh, inspirational and informative. And also tonight will be a short film before the documentary by RPV TV about the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy. Well, it's always great when RPV TV can work with some of our local nonprofits, and you don't get any more local than the Palos Verdes Peninsula Land Conservancy. It's in their name, Palos Verdes and Peninsula, right there. And it was really great to work with this team and be able to put together a piece that recorded some of the founders' memories and some of the people that have been with the Land Conservancy for a long time, and they know some of the history and the stories, like how White Point was founded and then fixed up and is now a great place that you can go. And I found it really exciting to be able to um, actually to be able to shoot some of these places in the Land Conservancy to take photos and to take video um, in a way that we really haven't been able to do before. Uh, so, you know, usually we kind of get in and out with our news stories, but for this one, we are really able to concentrate on making a great product. And I think we should all be really proud of what we are able to do at RPV TV. And if you'd like more information on the Land Conservancy, you can go to PVP lc.org. Back to you, Maria.